It's the lift off, man. All day. Just incredible. Yeah, I'm a little faded, man. I've been <laughs> drinking too much champagne. Today. It, it's album day. <laughs> it's album day, man. We got to celebrate, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we are. Dark Sky <laughs> Paradise. See, they jinxed me, man. Yeah, Dark Sky Paradise, man. Out today. How, how does it feel, man? Another album out and the people are loving it. This feels great. Yeah. It feels great, man. I can't believe it. You know what I mean? It's just, you see it unfold. Shit is real, you know? I'm focused. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go, man. Yeah. So you sound focused. Let me tell you, from yeah. what I've heard so far from the album, we're going to get into some cuts tonight, man. Yeah. I've got, I've heard a lot of stuff that I'm loving from this project. The mm. growth uh, album to album has been amazing so Thank far you. for you, man. And I couldn't be more happy for you, bro. We say it every time, right? Uh, I appreciate that, man. Straight up. What I've got so far I'm from... one of the most improved players. I know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you are, bro. <laughs> yeah, last time we sat in this very room, you was like watch i'm coming for the number one spot man. yeah of course man how important is that spot to you as we sit here today with your album out man is that still the focus or is it just about making good music and then seeing what the people feel or i mean what, what's on your mind when the making focus, this album man uh, to be honest the focus is to be at the best of what you do but the focus really is just to help change people help you know give them something to be inspired to something that they want to yell out something they want to listen to ride to yeah you know just like when you was talking to me about that patience vlog a minute ago uh, before we got on air like that's why we do it man you know i kind of i haven't lost track of that like i said i'm hungry as ever i'm focused as ever but man i i can't even lie i do it i get a kick i get a thrill out of people being like yo i love this song yeah. or yo this song changed my life or you know man when you when your grandma I was on the end of One Man Could Change the World with Ye and John Legend, man. I was like, that that really changed my life. That helped me through, man. you know, my situations. This, you know, that that makes me feel better than anything, you know. Straight that, up. I can't even lie. I want to talk about all of that stuff, man. And mm -hmm. uh I want to talk about that patience vlog, man. I, mm -hmm. I like you said, man, there's certain things that, that strike you and and affect people, whether either listening to your music or listening to your words in a vlog like that. I thought that patience vlog was something that was so on time for me and i'm sure a lot of people around the world yeah. talk to us about patience you know because i thought everything you had to say in that vlog was amazing and if you haven't seen it it's up on power106.com right now yeah i mean patience was a major part of just me making this album first of all and it's just something i learned away from music just as a person man pay if you can master patience you can master anything and you know, patience can uh, allow you to see the best in any situation. And what I mean by that is like, you know, it's, it's hard to see the outcome or how to handle situations the best way through frustration or through stress yeah. or through anger. But when you got patience, man, you just handle it like a G. Yeah. You a master at it. You know what I mean? And you're going to give your best foot forward. You're going to put, you know, give your best hand every time. And that's something I learned. And it shows just, you know, personally as a, as a person and through the music and it's I just wanted to share you know I didn't do it for any other reason just for people who, who, who might relate. need it yeah. yeah hell yeah you know what man. I mean Did you, do you ever feel like there's a balance though between being patient you know it's one thing to be patient when you're waiting for uh you know, you know, hey, the concert's next Sunday. Just be patient. You're going to get to see it. But yeah. you have to really follow through and believe in your dreams. And that's not always mm -hmm. guaranteed like that concert next Sunday. So that ha has to be frustrating mm -hmm. where you're like, am I being patient or am I just not going and grabbing it enough? Pause. Yeah, it's a thin line. But I just feel like patience is... um. That that's two different situations, but the thing is, you gotta trust, you gotta have that faith, and you gotta realize how many times you've made things manifest without even knowing. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just the fact that wherever you at in life, like you visualize yourself being there, you probably don't even remember it. it Might have been a long time ago, you know. Whether it was at the bottom or at the top, you yeah. know. Some people, um, some people, I feel like everybody's in a the place they put themselves in, man, and you know. You could. This world is here for us to manifest and to create. We could do whatever we want. And I truly believe that, and you gotta trust that. You know, and I gotta trust in myself Absolutely. too. I'm not a perfect. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I, this is stuff that helps me too. You know, doing vlogs like patience, and you know, I did one like on imagination and family and different things like that and fear. Mm -hmm. But like, 
it helps me too you know what I mean yeah so it's definitely just um, it's therapeutic I'm glad right? I get to share that with people who who, who appreciate it a lot of people do man mm-hmm. talk to me about the album cover man T- break this for me down now yeah. what is what does this album cover represent to Big Sean Dark Sky Paradise man we went through a lot you know as people may have seen or may maybe not you know through the last year just you know from breakups to just craziness and a lot of personal things I was going through man ups and downs with friends just a lot of things that people go through and I just wanted to make sure that I put them into my music incorporated them and just gave my you know put my soul my best foot forward into this work you know what I mean and that's what it is it's a dark sky paradise man first of all we were up late at night mostly this whole album I recorded it in my house um, which gave me the opportunity to live through the music live you know when you Get to have it in your living situation you know you created a whole different way and i had you know a lot of people in there i had yay up in my crib a lot of people just in the crib mike will to you know a lot of janae to of course. of course ariana like every you know everybody who featured on the album up in the crib and working on it and um that just that does so much for the music you know it doesn't rush you it doesn't like put you in any type of you don't have to think about anything else about just focusing. You just focus on it and get it done. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, I went through a lot of ups and downs, man. Relationship stuff. Stuff I don't even got to talk about. Yeah. No. Just real life stuff. And um, it is what it is, man. I've had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of dark times. And it's just appropriate. Dark Sky Paradise. So, the, the album cover is straight black and white. You know, that's the vibe. Chains, yeah, and you, you guys, you know, once you hear the music, you'll get into it. The yeah. clouds, the thunder. Well, know? what we doing tonight is celebrating the album, man, and uh, congratulations <laughs> on another great release from you. Thank you, man. Uh, Thank let's you. talk about Win Some, Lose Some with Janae Aiko, man. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a track where you're you're reflecting on the challenges that you went through, mm-hmm. uh, and, and and you're being very honest on this. Talk to us about this song. Yeah, I mean, to um, what I wrote the first verse of Win Some, Lose Some in 2012, so I've had that song since then. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how long this song has been around. I I just was waiting, I guess, for the right time or until I felt 100% comfortable being that open. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, you know, uh, just on one song like that. And, you know, I'm glad it's a part of this album. It's one of my favorite songs. And I wrote the first verse in 2012, the second verse in 2014. That's crazy, man. You know, going through, you know, in and out of, you know, relationships and stuff like that. And, um... It's just a it's just a record, like I said, man. I just talk about what I go through and then, you know, maybe people can relate to it in their own ways and yeah, it's hard though, man. Shout out to Boy Wonder and T Minus. T Minus produced it and Boy Wonder um added to it too. Did the drums on there and stuff, so it's crazy. Did you have any other album titles you were kinda of throwing around before landing Dark Sky Paradise? Anything that comes to mind? Um not really we had a couple different options you know what i mean but this was the one that like as soon as we came up with it that's it it, yeah it just it clicked you know what i mean your pops is on the album man yeah my dad is on this song my dad is on win some lose some just talking from the heart it was funny because he we were my brother was recording that without me and him knowing okay i was gonna say it sounded super candid yeah it was candid We we were coming back from a concert we was in detroit and um, I think Wiz had a concert that night, Wiz and Jeezy. Okay. And I was in the D, um, just you know, kicking it with my mom and my grandma. It was a, uh, it was right before my grandma passed, and uh, we, you know, we went to the concert. I was talking to Wiz and, and Jeezy, and then we went out there, and you know, we had a f- crazy ass time. Me and my brother and my dad, we had fun, and you know, on the way back, you know, we might have sipped a little something, you know, just just, just living, you know yeah. what I mean? And um, my dad was just feeling the vibe, and he was just talking to me man he just kept talking kept talking my brother just started recording it and you know the conversation is about a 40 minute conversation yeah but in that conversation we took that little sound bite and um you know he didn't even know so cool uh, yeah. so cool man so life cool. is a feeling process that's yeah, what he a, said on yeah there. and he was saying you know uh he was saying you talk from the mind but people hear you from the heart
heart You know that's why You are where you are Sean Because you know You talk from your mind But they hear you From the heart And they can see Your bullshit You know they know When you lying They know when you Not keeping it real They know You know And, and then he got, and then he says I'm a great motherfucker man yeah. You I'm know I know I know a lot of shit man <laughs> Shout out to Pops man yeah, Shout out to my dad He's like a def- Definitely a Detroit player All day You were um You were a radio intern At one time I wasn't an intern. I was just doing a radio show every Friday there called the Friday Night Cypher where I was rapping every Friday. So I wasn't an intern. Okay. It was interns on that show doing that show to rapping. Okay. But I was just somebody who came up there. I, I had no like relationships with the station. I just came up there every Friday to do this show. I think that's dope though, man. I think yeah. That's dope. And I, you know, the whole story of Kanye coming up to the station and all that. And yeah, rapping for him. Yeah, man. I grinded, man. I know you Grind. have. I know you have, right, man. man. So look, this is a beautiful day, man. Beautiful happy day. Be, happy as fuck to be here. I appreciate this shit. And like I said, I'm hungry, I'm focused, and I'm ready to get it, man. One man can change the world. Kanye yeah. and John Legend and yourself. This is this is good music mm-hmm. to the fullest, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank you. Such a positive song. I think it's something that people need to hear. And uh, yeah. talk to us about this song. This is one of my favorite songs, man. Um... Featuring John Legend, Kanye West, One Man Can Change the World. Um, it's just special, man. It's, who, who are some people? And it's not just special just because I'm not saying it because it's my song. It's just special because, you know, sometimes when when you sit back and listen to songs like that, it's just like, this is like, you know, it has a message. We put our, we put our heart and we put our soul into it. And, you know, hopefully you guys can hear that. And it was just, it was funny because I wrote that song, I wrote the second verse about my grandma before she passed. I was just dedicating a song to her because she was, you know, she was a World War II, um, she was a female black captain in World War II, you know what I mean? Uh, one of the first, she was a female police officer in the D, one of the first on the streets and stuff. She was a counselor, she was a teacher, she was like the best grandma, she was the reason I had home cooked meals every day after school, you know what I mean? So it was just like things I really took for granted, especially growing up. You know, I used to be like, man, can we go get some McDonald's or like some stupid, sh-, you know, yeah, yeah. being dumb. but. You know, now nah, those are those meals are like some of my. I, I would pay a million dollars, you know, right. for a meal like that from her. And she, um, she's the best, man. She's one of the most important people I've ever met. I could tell from from the music, you know, I could definitely yeah. tell how important so, she was to you. So I, I put her at the end of that song, just a sound bite of her, because I recorded me and her having a conversation one day when I was working on my Detroit mixtape. Man, I never used it, and I just remembered. I brought it back up, and I was like, oh, this is perfect for this. And it was just perfect. You know, I say it on Twitter, but I say it again. Like, my grandma was so great, man. She deserved to have John Legend sing about, you know, sing that chorus right after a verse about her. You know what I mean? What an honor. What an honor, Yeah, man. she deserves that. Very dope. Let, let, me, let me play something for you, and I just want to take you back a little to, you know, not where it all started, but a place where at least mainstream radio was getting a first look at Sean. I just want you to kind of tell me where you were at mentally right here and how far it's come since then. <clears throat> mentally, man, I was I was new. I was, you know, I can't even, I don't even, it's crazy. I remember seeing you perform this song and I was just like, man, this kid is special right here. This is going to be, Thank he's you, one man. who's going to be around for a very long time. Man, thank you, man. This song, you know, there's been a lot of people who came and gone since this song. Yeah. You're just alone since this song, you know, <laughs> since since 2011. Or 2000, and, yeah, it came out 2011. Yeah. And you got to just give it up to God, man, and just say thank you, you know. And it could have went any way. I understand that. And I... You know, I don't take it for granted, man. Like I said, I give, I put my best foot forward, and I ain't perfect, you know? Yeah. I'm learning as I go. I'm a young man, and um, yeah, that's emotional right there, boy. Let me, let me play you another one that I think is a landmark in your career. Yeah, this was like a crazy moment for me, man. Yay and like Jay. On the same I side. remember I, I remember this song dropped the day after I dropped the Detroit mixtape. That was a crazy time for me. Right. You know what I mean? That was that was definitely one of that was a that was like I'm trying to find the right words. That was a, just a very special time for me, man. I was just like 
starting to find my way. You know what I mean? And, and you get the call that you're going to be on the same song as Hov and Kanye. Yeah, there's a lot of other and verses on there, too. Like, everybody got taken off. Right, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And you're starting the song off. I just thought that was an epic part of your career to get from there to where we're at today. Another, another you know, stepping stone. Yeah, sure. and that song still goes, man. Crazy. Still goes, man. Crazy, man. Let's talk about I Don't F With You, man. We talked a little bit off the air about how this, this song could possibly be in the Guinness Book of World Records yeah. for most cussed uh, hook of all time. It most could. curses in the hook. Yeah, it could, man. And... And people love it and sing every word. Yeah, I can't believe it's on the radio. You know that that thing was on all sorts of radios, and you know I I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not into just like making radio songs no more. I'm into just making good music no matter what. Rather yeah. they play that shit on the radio or not. You know I didn't make that song for it to be on the radio. I made that song because that's how I was feeling. You know what I mean? And I'm off that shit. You know I, I probably have been misled before in the past by labels or by people. Yo, you need to do this type of do this. Type do this whatever but I'm off all that shit now nah, I'm just doing stuff I want to do stuff I like stuff that sounds great that I feel that has my heart into it and that's it no more other shit yeah. you know what I mean and that's and that's like a it's like a new beginning for me you know what I mean even though this is my third album I really feel like it's something special and you know it's, it's, it's definitely a uh you know an initial project for me yeah. you know what I mean yeah and uh I mean, that's just crazy. That song, I don't know how many cuss words it has in it, but it's a whole bunch. You know what it's, I mean? It's crazy how many are in that hook. Man, yeah. I know, I know you got to get out of here and roll, man, but I wanted to yeah. thank you for coming by the show. Congratulations uh, on, on another successful album and uh, keep you. doing your thing, brother. Thank you. Um, congratulations on just making dope music for the people to feel. And just like your pop said, man, they, they hear that it's from your heart and your mind. Thank you, know you I mean? man. Thank you, man. And, and, and great seeing you. Man. Thank you. Chris, every time you're my dog. Every time you know what I'm saying, man. And we got a lot to be thankful for. Absolutely, a lot to a lot to feel blessed about, and a lot to you know a lot more, a lot further to go. You know what I'm saying. So let's just boss up. Yeah, get it. You know what I'm saying. We from we from places that people don't make it out of. You know That's what I right. mean. So we got to boss up and show them why we here. Sean, thank you for coming by, man. All right, thank you. Let's have another shot in a minute. Yeah. Cheers to the brand new album in yeah. stores right now, Dark yeah, Sky man. Paradise. Yeah. Get that. All day, shout out Good Music, shout yeah. out Def Jam, you know what I'm saying? The best rap label, you know? Shout out to uh, Ciroc. <laughs> for getting me lit and I just did a deal with Ciroc shout out to Ciroc there he is yeah shout out to Puff you know what I mean how comfortable are those Yeezys man yeah shout out to the Yeezys I got Ooh. some I might have spilled some champagne on them it's alright yeah, it's all good it's all that's good that's what they're for man yeah. <laughs> you gotta rock them like that yeah championship real right? quick too also what did you think about Kanye's performance on SNL that was amazing right crazy I thought it was insane laying there the fact that his voice was gone too is just like more like yeah. it's just like wow yeah. You know it, and um, I never really seen nothing like that on TV. I know? haven't either. I haven't we, either. we shot the blessings video the day after, and um, he was just like just tired. You know, he's really been putting his heart into everything he's been doing. So I thought it was great, man. Dope shout out to that. Shout out to that boy, man. He inspiring all the time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Once again, Dark Sky Paradise. Go get it now on iTunes and in store. Sean, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yes, today. That's right. Get that. Pick yeah. it up.